guys, and today what we're going to be looking at is the Walters Marine Line 59 cylindrical, um, cylindrical hopper. My bad, the cylindrical hopper. Um, and right now we're taking a look at Procore UMP box number 121791 in its gray and blue skin. The only number that I have here, this is if you go to trainworld.com, you just type in this item number and it'll show up. There are three different ones. There's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. Now I wanna you can pause this, but uh um I wanna look at this one. This one and this one. Alright guys, I also bought um when I went to trainworld.com, uh, I also bought um here's uh the information so if you are if you wanna get this, you just type in this information or right now. It's by Bachman. I got four packs of those and they each come with four pieces of track. And it was uh thirteen ninety nine, which is a really good price, I thought. Um, yeah. So these are twenty two ready. I got four packs of that. I also got three packs of this um nine inch straight, which is all four packs are right there. There's twelve pieces of track there, six on each side. And I bought two not terminal but just regular rerollers. Alright. So let's get into this review right now. So I'm gonna start unboxing this. Here if I can see if I can do this with one hand without breaking anything. Um, as you might know, it's already been opened once. I just tested it around the track, and it is the the best ever. So we're gonna put that box over there, and all this garbage on the floor. All right. Before we get into this, uh, I have to go get something. Mm, all right, guys. You still get the nice detail with this. I'll just put that away. Um, but with Walker's Mainline, you still get a nice variety. Um, as it says there, too, value and variety. It's a good price. $22 for this. And I'm about to show you this. It's a very nice car. So, it's just... Right here, you have the nice Procore lettering. UNPX and the, the car number 121791. You have a the type of plate that it is. It's a C plate. It says it right there. And you have all the car information capacity, the load limit, and the load weight. Or the, uh, I, I don't know what that means. I forgot. But uh, there's a whole bunch of lettering and safety information. Like right here, do not run car with doors or hatches open, right? It says it right here. I you guys can see that right there. And right here it says, and here it says stuff in smaller print. I can't really see. Right here it says two inch comb shoes, which are the brakes. But that is just some of the nice detail that you have right there. And uh, right here you also have your, uh, I think that's your air brakes piping right there, right there. On top we have our uh, walkways. Which are flexible, but like I said, to a point. To show you that, um, I'm going to dig under and show you. Just using my fingers. Uh, that's just a little bit that you can go. Um, so you, they won't, they break easily, but um, not as easy as some other um, trains that I've had. Um, so, uh, yeah. Oh, right. Including that boxcar that has, already has some stuff broken on it from a while back. So you have your nice walkway details on the top. You have um, walkway details, uh, like I said, over here. And I uh, forgot what that is for. I think that's your uh, ladder detail. Like it's a, uh, you climb, you, you hold on to it when you're on top of the car, I think. I don't, I forgot. But um, let's move on. You also have your hatch detail. And there's four of those because there's four, because it's a four bay. So there's four. Um, 
Just because it's four bay though doesn't always mean that it's gonna have four on top. Um, this is a four bay also, and it has a lot, but that's an ACF. Uh, so this this is different. Uh, moving on, I'm just gonna turn this here very carefully because I've had some incidents with other cars that I do not want to talk about. Expensive incidents. Uh, with your brakes here, we have our uh, brake wheel, we have our air brakes and other pressure um, pressure gauges and uh, stuff. There's a really good detail. You can't really see it good on the camera. And uh, you have your other good brake detail. There's your air pressure in that tank. You also have your ladder detail uh, to climb on. Right there. And it's kind of everywhere, your ladder detail to climb on. So you can climb on on either side. And on this side, there's not really much detail, except for the car number and some um, letter detail uh, up here. That's really it. So that's really all of the detail that you get. Um, I'm gonna carefully turn this over. Down here, yeah, these are not that. These are kind. These are solid, but um, they will break off. So you have to be careful with uh, what's on the bottom. But I'm going to carefully go to the bottom here. Also, there are screws to unscrew the top from the bottom. There's four of them, one in each corner. There's one here, one there, one here, and one over here. And also, you have your... Uh... I dropped something. Oops. Let's pick this up here. Oh, all right. Uh... Um, and, uh, you have really nice, um, Protomax knuckle couplers. Also, on the top, I forgot to mention, and to make note of, that there are, um, let's see if I can find them again, because they're the same color as the car. Um, I don't know if you can see that, pointed out, it's right here. It's also uh, your climb detail, it's what you use to climb up onto the car, and they're on... Um, both sides, they're just kind of hard to see, but you want to be careful with those two because they're really easy to break. Oh, I wasn't even in, in the camera, my bad, right here. They're really easy to break. So you want to be careful with all that. But this is overall a really nice car. Um, we're going to put this on the track right now, and uh, we're just going to show you this. Um, how smooth of a car this is. I can just hurry up and get this on the track. Smooth running, it has weight, so it's not going to carry along for for too long. But it is a really nice car, and it looks great with other. Oops, uh, it looks great with other green cars also. And uh, couplers don't really matter unless they're at different heights. But these should connect. Um, I can get them to connect. There we go. Um, I'm actually ordering in a second one of these. So I'm not going to do a review on that one. I'll just let you guys know when it comes in. And, uh, yeah, because they're technically the same thing. If you want, if you guys want me to in the comment sections, um, you guys can tell me uh, if you guys want me to do a product review on that. But um, it's really the same thing, just a different car number. But, uh, it does look great with other, with other cars. You can have a mixed freight train, too. This is a, a Canadian-type car, too. So it looks really nice on Canadian railroads, mainly C and then Canadian Pacific, maybe BC Rail. Um, looks good on. But uh, I have my Grand Trunk Rest Western um, car here, and um, I have had some accidents with these types of cars. So that's why I was telling you guys to be careful because on the bottom here, you guys can see that that's bent. It's not supposed to be bent. So I'll just be careful. This is a three bay car, so it's different. But it doesn't look much different. Um, it kind of looks the same, but it's not. So, overall, these cars look really nice. Um, you could have a whole bunch of these just going down the track. And then it'll look amazing. So, um, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys um, did like this product review, um, make sure to like this video. I will be doing more product reviews in the near future. Um, 
So yeah, guys. Make sure to go check out Wathers.com. And to make sure to check out their Wathers Mainline 59 Cylindrical Hopper. Um, it is only, uh, if you go to trainworld.com and uh, you go to Walters, then you go to Walters Mainline, then you go to train cars, or I mean freight cars. Uh, um, then you go to Hopper and Ore Cars, and it should be on the f second page, I think, second or third page. Um, it was only $22. It was only twenty one ninety nine at, at this place, but I think it's like twenty four ninety nine or twenty seven ninety nine at Walters, the actual actual um store page for walkers um so i am probably not gonna cut that air hose that little thing dropping down on this one because it look at or this one because these two train cars looks like they're not gonna be touching but these older cars like this one that i got from like two years ago i did have to cut because it was touching and it was hitting these little uh, rail ties right here and uh, it would hit every single time, and it would cause derailments. And I had I have broken like five train cars because of some uh, uh, because of this. And the couplers would fall out. And couplers are kind of expensive. They're forty dollars for a pack of like ten to fifteen, twenty cars worth of couplers. And uh, you know, uh, so it can this hobby is kind of expensive if you think about it. But um, guys, uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to go check out. Uh, these websites um a link won't be in the description as of right now but if you guys are watching in the future so like if you guys are watching a while in the future um then the link might be in the description but i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye